everyone, Angel Leo here. I am back with another video and this time it will be a get ready with me video. <laughs> I'll be sharing with you guys my usual makeup look and how I curl my hair. Since those are the ones na parate nyo tinatanong sa akin on my Instagram. So finally, I am filming this one for you guys. I with you guys a makeup look that I do whenever I have to shoot something. So it's not that light and it's not that heavy either. So medyo na sagit na siya. Hindi siya yung everyday makeup look ko. So yeah, wag nating patagalin. Let's get started. My face is all prepped. I did my skincare already. Naglagay na rin ako ng petroleum jelly on my lips. Ilapit ko kayo ng konti para makita niyo nang maayos how I put my makeup. Though I'm not a makeup enthusiast and I'm not an expert in makeup. So whatever I'll be doing, it's just the way I do it. Um, it's my preference and ganun lang talaga ako maglagay ng makeup. So kung may ginawa man akong mali, sorry. And let me know kung may ginagawa akong mali. I start with concealer and I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35 in the shade of NW. 25 and I've been using this concealer for years now um, I'm not exaggerating years na talaga. So what I do with concealer is I apply it under my eyes since Mejo dark yung eye bugs ko. So concealer nilalagay ko siya sa dark spots and red spots So ganun lang siya. I just apply using my fingers and I love that it is buildable after under eyes, naglalagay din ako sa side ng nose ko. Since medyo ready siya. And dito sa baba, sa chin. I only use foundation for heavy makeup. On an everyday look and events look, hindi ako nagpa-foundation. Because as much as possible, I want my skin. Mas gusto ko siya nakikita. Ayoko yung sobrang covered siya na parang ang kapal. I use translucent powder to set um, the concealer. So ginagamit ko is this one, the Kat Von D setting powder. Translucent lang siya, walang color. You can put it here. Ayan. Just to set the concealer para hindi na tayo mag-retouch. So, I usually put it kung saan ako naglagay ng concealer. I also put beside my nose kasi naglagay ako ng concealer dyan. And under. Tapos, naglalagay din ako kung saan usually nag-oil yung face ko. I use a big fluffy brush. Kukunin ko yung mga naiwan. For my whole face. Kasi nga, na init yung Pilipinas. So, for sure mamaya, pawis ako. I leave this area muna para hindi siya matapunan ng kung ano-ano. So, next will be my eyebrows. Um, for my eyebrows now, medyo two months na ako hindi nagpapalinis. So, good luck. Pero, uso naman ang messy brow, di ba? Eyebrows, I use K Palette. It's the Lasting Two-Way Eyebrow Pencil in the shade of 02. I think I use it and I super love this product as in. And what I do is basically I just apply the eyes. And then I extend this part. Because that's only the problem with my eyes. It's like it's not that thick. It's just like it's just like this. So I extend it. For liquid, guys, masasabi ko lang, huwag niyo masyadong diinan para hindi masyadong kita na din-rowing niyo. Para medyo natural pa din. Ayan. And for the, oops, and for the middle area, I just use the other side, which is yung powdery side. And I fill it. After putting the product on my brows, bina brush ko sa olet. Para yung may mga areas kasi talaga na hindi mo may iwasan na parang nakapalan mo, so kitang kiteng line. And ayoko ko yon kasi yun nga. I always go for the natural look. 
afterwards, I head on to my favorite product then, which is the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade of brown. Oh my gosh, guys. As in, parang ilang galita na yata yung naubos ko. Actually, lahat ng product na pinapakita ko sa inyo ngayon, I use them talaga. Actually, I brush upwards because I want that bushy look, bushy brow. Actually, pwede rin to even without the K palette. Pero yun ginagawa ko yun for everyday makeup look. Pero for this one kasi, I need the stronger brows kasi magsushoot ako ng full body. So malayo. Sana pantay, but kung hindi man, okay lang din. No one's perfect. Eyeshadow. I will use this new palette that was given to me by my friend Ara. So it's the Zova Naturally Yours palette. Actually, hindi ko alam kung Zova or Z Zoeva. Z O E V A. So let me know kung mali yung pagpronounce ko. But I super love the shades. We use this brush for base. I think I will use this. Pure shade, Muna. Then I will head on to this shade, the soft and sexy. Oh my gosh, super favorite ko ang brown. I always go for brown. It really helps give depth on my eyes. Since chinita ko, so naglalagay talaga ako ng dark brown. Then the next shade will be the sweet and sound. I'll just use my finger. Dito ko siya ina apply and then kinakalat ko siya. Use my finger again for the lighter shade, which is the casual elegance. After eyeshadow, I then curl my lashes using my Shiseido eyelash curler. After curling my lashes, I na eyeliner ako, which is the K Palette One Day Tattoo Real Strong Eyeliner in the shade of brown. The reason why I curl my eyelashes first before I put my eyeliner, sinusundan ko yung lashes ko kung saan siya papunta. And I don't put eyeliner on my whole eye because I like the natural So after, I'm going to put my mascara and I use this one. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof. Late last year, I just discovered it because they gave it to me. And super love it. Sobrang bango. As in, gusto ko lang siya kumapal. Since I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna use my big brush para tanggalin lang yung powder. Yung translucent. So afterwards, I like putting eyeshadow under my eyes. I usually use the same eyeshadow na ginamit ko. Which is brown. So, basa dark brown, okay siya. So, again, I'm going back to this palette, Zova palette, and I'm gonna use this brush. So, instead of using eyeliner, I use eyeshadow, dark brown eyeshadow. And then I put mascara under my eyes, kasi nga gusto ko sobrang buhay yung mata ko. Because then lang ako bumabawi. It's this one, the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. Ayan. Ito yung ginagamit ko before nila pinadala yung Total Temptation. It's kasi mas malit yung brush niya. So, so mas safe maglagay. Hindi siya kakalat ang eye. Ayan. So, I'm done with my eyes. And we're almost done. Next thing will be my contour. Since, as you guys know and as you guys can see, medyo mapang ako. Well, hindi medyo, mapang talaga ako. And I just have to deal with that. But thanks to contour. So, I use the Tarte Contour Palette. Sobrang gamit na niya pag nakita niyo. Wait, sobrang dumi pala nito. This one there. So, 
I just use this brush. So I just brush it up, tapos kakalat ko siya dyan sa taas. So sa contour, make sure lang na nakalat niya siya ng maayos. Wala akong masabi kung gusto niya madami maglagay kasi ako madami din ako maglagay pero just make sure na nakakalat niyo ng maayos yung contour para di masyadong halata. I put a nose line using the same shade. Ito pa din sa Tarte palette. And I'm using this brush. And then I usually brush it up all the way to my eyelids. So I will head on to my blush. I love natural look. Kanina ko pa inulit-ulit yun. So I will go for this Lasting Cheek Tint from K Palette in the shade of 02. So, ito siya. so I use a brush and then. Pwede mo rin siya kamayan kung gusto mo. But for me, I use brush. And then. My nose bridge. My lips, guys. I'm, I'll just put um, lip balm first because I don't have the petroleum jelly ko kanina. For this makeup, I really don't want to use um, lipstick. So I'm going to use my lip tint. My usual lip tint. Use Benet Tint. Ayan, it's na naman siya. Siguro, hindi ko na alam kung ilang ganito na naubos ko. But I just really love tint. There you go, and then I use my lip balm, which is the Innisfree Lip Balm Sun Kiss Cherry Tea. And I like this better. Kasi yung kanina, um, hindi masyado dumidikit yung Benetint sa lips ko. Kasi medyo dry talaga siya ngayon, like kanina dumudumo siya. So, mas okay na yung lip balm. And you can stop right there, but if you want to be extra, pwede kang mag-highlighter. I use the Tarte again, and this one, this highlighter here, I just use my finger. Tapos, huwag nyo lang masyado damihan pag nasa Pilipinas kayo kasi baka magmukha kayong ano, oily. So, we're done with my makeup. Next thing is, I'm gonna curl my hair, which a lot of you guys have been asking me how I do it. A lot of you then are asking what curling iron I use. It's the um, Vidal Sasun. Actually, hindi ko alam kung tama yung pag-pronounce ko. Curling iron, ito siya. So, two ways siya. You can use it as a straightening iron. And then, if you lock it, which is here, may lock siya dito. It's gonna be a curling iron. Pero nasida ako kasi yung lock niya. Kaya nilalagay ko nito. Guys, you can get this curling iron in Zalora. Parang 3,000 plus pesos siya. Pero worth it. Ang tagal na nito sa akin, nabasag ko na yung lock niya. Kasi parang nahulog ko siya. So that's why I have to use this. There's also a control kung gano'ng kainit mo siya gusto. What I do is, I portion my hair. Ayoko na sobrang kapal. Para, I don't need... I won't need to keep the iron sobrang tagal sa hair ko. And, this is the iron. So what I do is, I curl it there. Ganyan. And then, I slide it down. Hindi ko siya masyadong tinatagalan para hindi sobrang curl na parang telephone wire. Medyo same lang ginagawa ako until um, middle area. Kasi pag nasa taas na, that's when I start playing around with how I curl it. So, yan siya. Again guys, huwag niyong damihan. Unti-unti lang para lumabas yung pagka beach wave or something and then papaba siya pag ganyan and then slide it down kasi pag kinapalan nyo dun lalabas yung parang ayos na ayos yung hair nyo hindi siya parang messy curl hair, curled hair so far so good 
Pagdating sa area na to, it's when I start curling it different ways. So, for example, for this one, it's going in. Paganan. Parang towards my face yung curling iron. And for the next one, I use my right hand para other way naman yung pagka curl niya. Ayan. Para yung pagka curl niya hindi isang ikot lang lahat na parang pagano lang lahat. So that's the reason why pag nasa middle area na ako, pinapalit-palit ko yung ikot ng curling iron para iba-iba siya, para yun nga messy look, hindi siya sobrang ayos na ayos ayan ganyan siya. And for the last part, which is the top part of my hair, hindi ko siya kina curl left and right. As much as possible, gusto ko may ano siya, may body. So that's the reason why on the top part, pinito ako mag curl. Parang instead of left and then right, I curl from back to the front. para may volume pa din afterwards. Tapos again, nakita nyo, ina-alternate ko siya. Left, right, left, right. Para iba-iba. So that is how I curl my hair. So parang wavy lang yung look niya. Beach wave. Hindi sobrang ayos na kulot. Hindi rin masyadong buwagag. Or actually buwagag siya. And naglalagay ako nito the sea salt spray. Not your mother's. This was recommended to me by my friend Paula. So yeah, you can get this in beauty bar. So sinispray ko lang siya. that's it guys that is the end of this video thank you thank you so much guys for watching my first get ready with me video and finally na share ko na sa inyo kung paano ko kinakurl yung hair ko kung paano ko ginagawa yung makeup ko i hope you learned something from me and i'm gonna list the products on the description box in case na hindi ko siya napakita ng maayos sa video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe on my channel guys thank you thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye I am giving away one Vidal Sasun curling and straightening iron to one lucky winner. All you have to do is subscribe on my channel, like this video, comment your thoughts, and share it to any of your social media accounts. Good luck guys!